everybody, Wutini here from GayGamer.net, here with another one of my weekly video podcasts. Um, I'm going to start this week by mentioning that um, I posted my review of um, Spirit Camera for the 3DS, um, and unfortunately, um, it's mediocre. It has a lot of potential, but the actual game itself is a little too short and the minigame things aren't really that compelling, so um, the length and some technological uh, problems. Um, it's a great idea, but it just wasn't executed as well as I would have liked. Um, but if you are a Fatal Frame fan, it's definitely worth checking out and picking up at a discount or used or whatever at some point. Um, this week I have a couple of new games to talk about. Um, the first game, uh, that I picked up, uh, because there was a price drop and I saw the GameStop was selling it for 20 bucks and I've been, like, looking for used copies of it but never finding any, and I thought, well, it's only $20, it might be worth it. And I love my singing games, so I bought myself a copy of Disney Sing It Family Hits. Um, because who doesn't want to sing along to Disney cartoons, right? Um, like, I'm not going to buy any of the other Disney Sing It games, because that's all, like, Hannah Montana and Jonas Brothers and, like, whatever. I don't... I'm too old for that. Um, but Disney cartoons are great. Who doesn't want to sing along with Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid and all that sort of thing? Um, however, I sort of wish that I had, um checked the song list before I bought it, um, because the song list is not exactly what I would have hoped for. And there's only one song from Beauty and the Beast, and it's Be Our Guest. Lame. Um, and I'm pretty sure Under the Sea is the only Little Mermaid song. There's one song from Aladdin. It's like, come on! You know? So... I, I mean, like, do I really need, like, three songs from Toy Story and two from Cars? Like, who wants to sing the songs from Cars? If I wanted that, I would get Sing Star Randy Newman, which they haven't made, because nobody wants a Sing Star Randy Newman, because Randy Newman is really annoying. And so, realizing now that half of this disc is, like, the new movies with the Randy Newman songs, I'm like, ugh, I don't really want to sing those. So I'm going to go and sing, like, Sleeping Beauty and, and, and Cinderella and whatever. Um, but I, so I'm sort of, it's sort of like I regret the purchase, but at the same time, I'm like, ah, whatever, it's fun. And they're Disney cartoons, so who doesn't like Disney cartoons? The old ones. Um, and then the other new game that I got this week, uh, much to my surprise, I came home from work on Friday and found a nice little package in the mail with a copy of Dragon's Dogma uh, from Capcom, uh, which is their new action RPG that they're hoping to be a awesome new franchise. Uh, we'll see. Um, and it came with a little, um, came with this little guy. It's a customizable little bobble bud that you can put different facial features and stuff on. And this is the little guy that I made. He's adorable. Um, and I started the game, um, I've pretty much just gotten through, like, the beginning tutorial stuff and started the main story, except for the fact that after the tutorial I feel like I need to find the person I need to talk to to send me on the main story, because there's no main story going. Um, so I'm sort of, like, aimless at this point, but, uh, I have to commend them for the customization options. Because when I was customizing my guy, I was trying to make it look like me, which ended up not really working. I sort of thought it looked a little bit like me, um, in the beginning, when I was, like, you know, picking the eyes and the nose and the mouth and everything. But then when the game itself started, suddenly, like, his facial features were really small on his big square-jawed head, and he, he, he looks cute, so I don't mind looking at him, but, um, it doesn't really look like me. Um... But when I was making my character, I noticed that, you know, you can pick the hairstyles, and I was creating a male character, but it offered all of the male and female hairstyles to me. 
So he could have had blonde pigtails if I really wanted to. Um, and then makeup and scars, you can choose scars, you can choose different makeup. He could have had pigtails and like eyeliner and eyeshadow and lipstick. And you could totally make yourself a drag queen, dragon's dogma character. So, drag dogma. Um, because then when I went and created my pawn, because you have a pawn which is like your right-hand man, or woman, in this case I created a woman, and I could have given her men's haircuts, if I felt like it. That just looks weird, though. Um, but I do appreciate that they offered you that much customization in your character. Um, as far as I know, there's no... I don't think there's any romancing going on in this game. I haven't heard of anything like that. Um, so we'll see. Um, but so far, it's 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 an interesting game. It's it's this it's a very odd hybrid. Um, it's an action RPG, so you're running around, and it gives you this big open world to explore, and the combat is very like you know hack and slash actiony. Um, I mean, it's from the uh, team who brought you uh, Resident Evil Four and Devil May Cry Four, so you have the action stuff, and the combat, and the swirling blades, and shooting arrows, and whatnot, and magic, and such. Um, but at the same time, there's like all the multiple layers of RPG details, where you're picking up stuff, and you have to make sure you don't overload yourself, you'll run out of stamina, and you can merge items together to create new items, and then you can craft weapons, and armor, and like it seems like it's very, very deep, but on the surface, there's the action hack and slash stuff. So, I feel like it's the kind of game where you can play the action hack and slash, and they give you all the levels of depth, and you can choose how much you want to go. Like, you can choose, well, I'm just going to, you know, customize this, that, and the other thing. And then there's going to be people who are going to go and craft all their weapons and healing potions and all that kind of thing, and they're going to get all into that. But if you don't want to get bogged down in all those little niggling details, I feel like you could probably get away with just hack and slashing your way through the game. Um, I will say that the pawns are a little chatty. They're constantly saying things, and it's probably going to get really irritating, but we'll see. Like I said, I've only just started it. I'm only a couple of hours into it. Because amusingly, I get this package on Friday when I get home from work, and in the cover letter it says, here is your review copy of Dragon's Dogma. Please embargo all reviews until Monday morning. And I'm like, yeah, like I'm going to finish it in a weekend? I'm not that kind of gamer. I have other things i got to do. So I'm not going to just lock myself in a room and play Dragon's Dogma all weekend so I can review it for Monday morning. I will review it for the site at some point in the future, <laughs> but... Um, it takes me a lot longer than a weekend to finish a game. But that happens all the time. You get a review copy of a game, and they're like, your your embargo is today. And I'm like, okay, well, that's helpful. i um, not going to be able to finish it in an hour to post it today, but, you know, whatever. You know, they never give you, like, you know, two or three weeks to play the game before you can post your review. There's always, it's, it's literally, like, two days on average. And it's just kind of like, who has that kind of time? I mean, Gay Gamer is not my real job. I have a real job. Gay Gamer I do for fun. So, I don't get paid to make these podcasts for you guys. I do this because I love you. I love you all. So, uh, with that, I will leave you for another week. I'm going to go jive back into Dragon's Dogma and see if I can't figure out what to do next. And start my adventure with my hot little strider, with his knives and his bow and arrow, and uh, see if I can't save the country from the dragon. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.